the science of reading is a vast body of evidence from multiple disciplines on reading acquisition and instruction. Really, it's just the evidence that tells us what is the most effective way to teach reading, to give our students an advantage and to ensure that they will be successful readers. One of the most powerful models, reading models that came out of that or was part of that is the simple view of reading. It gave us a testable hypothesis on the reading process. It was first introduced by Goff and Tumner in 1986. Since then, it has generated over 200 studies with thousands of students in numerous countries with such a high level of accuracy, 95 to 99% in reading differences within students, that that percentage of accuracy is almost unheard of um, in social scientific research. So that's been so powerful in informing our instruction and our intervention for students. One of the things that the Simple View of Reading really did was identify the critical role of decoding in the role of reading comprehension or in the result of reading comprehension. Because really what it proposes is this, that reading comprehension is a product of decoding and language comprehension. So it identified that as such a critical part of the reading process. Now the science of reading is not just about decoding or phonics instruction to meet those needs. It is really about um, rich, multi-layered set of language and literacy skills that are taught. But we do know that decoding is a critical part of that, thankfully, large in part from the simple view of reading, the evidence that has come from that, and since expanded upon in Scarborough's reading rope, that that needs to be a critical focus in our reading instruction based on the evidence to make sure that students are successful. When it was really first talked about with the National Reading Report back in 2000, when we clearly identified those five critical components of phonemic awareness, phonics, fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension, the danger of that is we didn't get very specific in that report about the most effective way to teach those, those critical foundational skills. And a lot of the things, well, kind of how it rolled out was, I mean, everybody was willing to acknowledge, okay, yeah, phonics needs to be a part of that, but it kind of rolled out in piecemeal. So there was a little bit of phonics and really the approaches that ended up landing, what we see primarily in our tier one setting is analytic and analogy phonics, where you know it's more of an, an incorporating the onset rhyme and all of those pieces that evidence is shown to be helpful for very beginning stages in reading, but it won't carry through for students. Um, and so that really bottom up synthetic phonics instruction is what evidence has shown to be most effective. And this is one of the critical reasons why the science of reading is so important for us to look at and understand is because it's telling us even deeper how we need to teach those skills to make sure that our students are successful. In that body of evidence, in the science of reading, what was identified again in that detail of being explicit and systematic and sequential but using that synthetic phonics approach, um, that's what International Dyslexia Association has talked about for a long time and they've coined the term structured literacy, which is now something that we're talking about in connection with that. It is really that evidence-based approach teaching explicit and systematic decoding strategies based on the science of reading. So it's really teaching those skills we identified a while ago, but diving deeper in how those should be taught, that we should be teaching specific elements, phonology, sound symbol association, syllables, morphology, semantics, and syntax, and that we should be using principles of instruction also founded in evidence to guide how we're teaching that, that we're explicit, we're systematic, we're cumulative, and we're diagnostic. And the science of reading gives us that evidence. It tells us when we do X, we get Y. And that's the real power is because we want our students to be successful readers. And the science of reading tells us exactly how to do that.